All right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor as due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakwad Dashim, double honor, to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who will well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect, Shalom, Barakatum. And uh, the military is looking bad, man. I meant to uh, do uh, a real quick lesson on it earlier in the week as we saw the, uh, the advertisement. <laughs> Um, it was it was circulating on some brothers post, you know around uh, YouTube and I believe Twitter as well, but uh, It uh, <laughs> it's basically a Jake woman All right, and, and, and I found it suspicious that it's a it's a it's one of our women All right, if they got the forefront, but she's got you know her uh, Her assets in the camera <laughs> right with an army military uniform on basically trying to advertise you know, to to really young Israelites, man. That's who they want to go over there in the in the uh, in the heat of the battle, which is the Middle East. All right, because that, let's be honest, that's that's where everybody's going. That's where the Battle of Armageddon is. That's where the most bodies are gonna drop. All right, they they want people to go over there and and die, man, die uh, uh, in vain, basically. All right, so Esau can further his enterprise at your expense is notice these people over uh there in congress that in house of representatives these senators as, as war hungry as they are they are not willing to go over there and fight and many of them never were man many of them never picked up a rifle or fought man but they want you to go over there and die okay uh, for for what man you know we know why because it, you know because esau really the reason why doesn't really exist because Esau doesn't really need a reason to go to war. That's just what's in him, man. That's what he does. All right. You know, the Department of Defense was known as the, uh, part, the Department of War just 60 some years ago. You know, 60, 70 years ago. <laughs> so, so they changed that to sound more, you know, uh, PC or politically correct. But, but that's what that, but that's what this guy is about. It's about war. All right, but what has happened over the years is he's tried to, you know, uh, pivot. Okay, he tried to he tried to make things, you know, more politically correct over on the other side, and he's got a lot of, uh, you know, sugary people in there, you know. <laughs> and if you know anything about war, then you know that those kind of individuals do not do well there. Women do not do well in the military, neither do sugary men, all right? As a matter of fact, even in World War II, if you read, uh, they have the accounts where only one out of five men even fired their rifle, man, in World War II, because they were so afraid, man. If you're, if you're not battle-hardened, all right, and that's a spiritual thing, too, and it's true that why you go out there and do the work, man, it's, 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 a, it's about getting battle experience. All right, that's why it's gonna end very, very, very badly for these people that go up against Russia. Because what has Russia been doing? They've been practicing <laughs> on them Ukrainians, man. Okay, they've been running through these, the, the, that NATO equipment they got over there, they've been running through them, man. All right, so you've basically given Russia a, a major gift by battle-hardening their soldiers that were, that were rusty or didn't have experience, you know? And so, to make the point, scriptures speak about this very thing that the, the men the mighty men of Babylon were for born to fight and really mighty men is really just the, the men that are warriors that don't mean they're actually mighty in their mind because if they were actually mighty all right they would fight man a real true mighty man he understands the consequences of death all right in war and he does it anyway it takes a lot to do that okay a lot of times it's, it's a thankless job you know you you don't even know if your body's gonna be recovered off the battlefield, man. You know. So, so these are uh, <laughs> these. Are, this is the these, this is the scenario, and now this is what he's resorting to. And I just kind of laugh at it because it really is ridiculous, man. You can look at it, there's an image I can't show it now. I'm driving, but of uh, these people in, in, in Biden's cabinets, man. All right, they're they're uh, goddamn Decepticons, man. Okay. You know, they, they are lane switchers, you know, and, and, and that high up in the cabinet and in the military. So, you know, that's how you know that we're basically at the end of this thing and that 
uh, all hell's getting ready to break loose. And a lot of you Israelites, you you are going to get picked up. Okay, y'all are gonna try to run, and I hope they go to these hoods where where all of these niggas are doing nothing but shooting up the club to a bunch of ratchet women. All right, and then they getting on Instagram acting like they they, they better than everybody and expecting everybody else to take them out on dates and treat <laughs> and treat them like women. All right, because it's, it's niggas like that in the hood. All right, are, are are just being complete degenerates, man. You know, fluffing up all of the uh, all all of the, the violent crimes and gun statistics, dropping property values. All right, and and all of these things that you're doing over there is doing nothing but making Esau rich on every front, man. So y'all need to be y'all need to be scooped up and put on the back of a Humvee with with, with, with a rifle in your hand, man. You know, go fight. You know, you're American. All right, because you damn sure don't listen when we try to tell you you're an Israelite, you know? So so what do you think is left, you know? Shit, I hate this damn thing, man. Shit, let me go. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I thought that that was, that was pretty funny that uh <laughs> that you saw is, is showing you you know the carrot all right and if you know anything about the carrot and the stick is they offer you something sweet on one side and then something bitter on the other all right now we know what the bitter part's going to be you only have to look at uh ukraine to see how those men are are, are being conscripted over there they're just grabbing them all right <laughs> they have a little a little uh a little autistic boy i mean he might have had down syndrome or something you know, they grab his ass, man. Like, here, go fight. They don't they don't give a damn. Alright? So just know that the, the bloody man is yet to show his true his true colors. And although he's trying to sell you on this idea with some folly, alright, because you're not gonna see a woman in the in the military dressed like that, man. Um, you know, uh, and she's not gonna fight. You, you know what she's gonna do? If you put a rifle in her, she's gonna go right over there to the enemy, take her clothes off and try to negotiate a deal that's what's gonna happen because men, women don't belong on the battlefield man all right most men are not even fit to fight you know that takes that takes mental conditioning and, and physical training okay so so <laughs> you know we're gonna see how this thing this thing uh this thing plays out man lord willing this is edifying call hello yahweh bashim yahweh shai